hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ufoma oboro and thank you so much for stopping by just to click on this video and if you want to know about a lot of mistakes we make in the kitchen you clicked on the right video so for those of you who dropped by at the first time in this channel you are welcome and right here i talk about appliances at home in the kitchen and how to operate them as well i talk about home in general so thank you for stopping by to see this video so let's start off right away so we're going to start with number one putting out grease fire with water putting out grease fire with water you only make things worse because water does not mix with oil so you're doing that the water will at worst cases water will just go down to the bottom of the pan then the steam comes up and causes more explosion which may increase the fire even more so in a worst case scenario what you do is just to use a cover lid to a pot lid rather to cover your pan and the energy oxygen goes down so what else do you have to do baking powder or baking soda but if you're doing that that works as well but if you're doing that you should know you will need a whole lot of it another thing you can also use is the class b fire extinguisher but that will really cause a mess in the house and sure be ready to clean so covering with that um pot lid could actually lead to removing the oxygen from your um, pot or your pan to stop the fire easily. I think that could be the best. Or you could also try using a wet towel covering the top of the, of the pan and boom, the oxygen has reduced and the fire will go off. So that's just how it, that's how number one works. So we're going to go over to number two hacking eyes off the walls of a freezer so no matter how careful you are whether you are way careful or you want to do the magic carefully never ever use a screwdriver or any other tools to try the method of the frozen eyes off your freezer so let me tell you what to do because you might end up puncturing the walls of your fr freezer that could cause um, your freezer getting spots now first of all what you will do is to get your food out of your freezer after you've done that you put it in a cooler or you could cook or you could eat it as well when you're done with that put a tray to take out the the draining water from the from the freezer so when you are set you put bowls of lukewarm waters in the freezer then you close it for about 20 minutes intervals you're going to do it several times so you go for about 20 minutes interval when you come back of course you see that there are some ice defrost already so you wipe with a towel and boom you do that on several occasions the most important one is make sure you go down the freezer and get those ice out so it could fasten the process as well so that's for that let's go over to number three so number three is not keeping a drip pan in your oven while in use all of those chickens those pizza all those things you prepare while using it in your oven drips out a lot of grease that ends up ca causing permanent stain in your stove so what you have to do is when you are preparing that because you might have some something like um sugary overflow in there that could go there and cause fire it could cause fire worst case scenario then even at that what you have to do is to get baking sheets at the rack below then you don't have to be scared that anything will get spilled directly into your oven so let's go over to number four so number four is using damp kitchen towel as pot holder remember water is a very fast conductor of heat even way faster than air so what you have to do instead of using that wet um odor 
to hold your um, your baking dish or your pot or your pan whatever it's better for you to use a dry one or a silicone holder would be perfect as well because in that process it could get into your hand and it will give you a very painful bond or it could even make you drop the dish baker and just drop it and hurt yourself so that's just it use dry towels instead of wet pot holders so let's go over to number five using melter in microwave it's way dangerous to use melter in microwave except you want to cause a fire if you want to cause a fire you could give it a test but do not try that now what you can use you can use a glass you could use a ceramic and you could use a plastic container labeled for microwave use and recommended by fda so don't use melters in your microwave now let's go over to the last one which is number c pouring hot liquid in a blender pouring hot liquid in a blender could create a very dangerous explosion except you want to get burnt do not try doing that it might cause a very serious pressure inside the blender and could even blow up the lid of the blender and this can affect the person doing it and cause the person to get injured or burnt and definitely mess up the whole place so do not put hot liquid in a blender so that's the end of this video thank you so much for staying till the end of the video don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful also don't forget to share to your family and friends and i will definitely see you in my next video 